And welcome back to Politics Unplugged. APS is a major donor in Arizona politics, and lately a lot of that money is going to two people, Governor Katie Hobbs and Attorney General Chris Mays. Arizona Republic reporter Stacey Barchanger has been tracking all the cash and joins us now to talk about that. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you very much for the excellent reporting on all of this. Let's, talk, let's start with the governor and how much money you found was going from APS to the governor and what that money was being used for, because I'm old enough to remember that last year APS was Fully backing Carrie Lake. I'm sure the two are not connected at all, right? They're not trying to buy any kind of influence with this governor, right? Yeah, I appreciate that <laughs> sarcasm there. Um, so, yeah, like you said, what we know is APS gave 850 grand to the Republican Governors Association last year. That, in turn, was spent to get Carrie Lake elected governor. Didn't work. She lost. Um, and we've noticed since that election, they have been making amends to the tune of $360,000 with the new governor. And what's the money going towards in ostensibly what would it be used for? Yeah, so the bulk of it, $250,000, went for her inauguration fund. This was a, um, a dark money group um, that the governor took a lot of political heat earlier this year for mm -hmm. refusing to disclose who was paying money into that fund. Um, she ultimately did, and that's how we know that APS was the largest donor, that $250,000 um, that we know, we've known since January that that happened. What I found um, more recently is another $100,000 that APS donated to the governor's fund, which is nominally on her behalf, into the Democratic Party. For the inauguration, we don't exactly know if that money was spent on the inauguration ball that she had out at Talking Stick, but it was in her name that they made this contribution. Yeah, and it seems like, uh, you know, APS is really trying to make amends. I mean, I believe... One of the people from the camp, from the governor's campaign team, is now taking APS on as a client, um, and you've gotten uh, you know some 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 comments from you know Hobbs's former campaign officials and from the office. What were they telling you? Well, um, so we know so Joe Wolf, who was an advisor to Governor Hobbs' mm -hmm. campaign, um, also works for APS as a consultant. He has mm -hmm. a lobbying firm that represents APS. Um, they were not talking about this money. Um, they have said, uh, you know, that it's just a donation to um, help fund the new governor um, and her inaugural events, which are typical, the ceremony at least, not the ball necessarily. Yeah. Um, but for these latest stories, they declined to comment. They didn't want to talk about it. But what are the concerns being raised? I mean, you talk to some critics who are kind of like raising eyebrows on this. So what are they telling yeah, you? Yeah, sure. I mean, money buys influence, right? Mm -hmm. That's um, We know that about money in politics uh, and so the question is, all this money that's coming in after she's been elected, you're not trying to influence the election anymore. You're trying to influence someone who sets policy um, for the whole entire state. Okay, let's move on to uh, Attorney General Chris Mays. Now, this is kind of interesting. The APS is, um, is throwing some cash her way because uh, those who don't remember, Chris Mays used to sit on the Arizona Corporation Commission. She was a real thorn in the side of APS. But now, apparently, um, they're giving the cash. And more importantly, Chris Mays is taking that money. What are they telling you? Yeah, so um, we know that APS gave $25,000 to her legal defense. She, of course, is still fighting the defeated Republican challenger in the attorney general's race. Um, so they gave her $25,000. They said in a very sweeping statement, they're just trying to make Arizona a better place. Um, Chris Mays says no one would think APS is trying to influence her given that track record, but she still took the money mm -hmm. um, and has no obligation to report who else is paying this legal defense, which is something I didn't know and I think is very, very interesting. Yeah, let me unpack that a little bit because you, you did dig into that and you found some of this. There were some laws that there were no reporting requirements. Explain, unpack that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely. So we, um, we talk a lot in Arizona about dark money, but mm -hmm. there's this other black hole of campaign finance and it is. Anyone can donate to a candidate or an office holder's legal defense, and there's no reporting requirement. So everyday Arizonans uh, have no right to know who is paying for it, how much they're paying. And I talked to an expert at the Campaign Legal Center, and this just leaves a hole for corruption, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't know who is funding, who is making these giant donations, mm -hmm. you don't know whether they're having an influence. Um, and if your policymaker is advocating for you, an Arizonan, or a special interest. Yeah, because I think, you know, for the outsider, they may not understand just how much business um, someone like APS may have at, down at the legislature or issues that go through the attorney general's office, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, 
one of the things I like about these stories is we're getting ahead of that and mm -hmm. we'll be following up on it if need be. Okay, and you know, final question here is, uh, you know, uh, more on maybe what APS is, how they're justifying it. I know they're probably saying like they're just interested in good government. Don't they always say stuff like that? I mean, because they were in trouble a few years ago for spending big money in political races. And at the time, you got the sense that they, they were saying, you know, to the public, we're going we're gonna to hold, hold off now. We're going to take a step back from this. Um, what are they telling you? Well, I mean, their their statement is very broad, very sweeping. That yeah. they are they are putting money towards the future of Arizona for a good economy, for good business, um, and so that's what they that's their justification <laughs> for it. I was always looking for good government. Stacey Barchanger with the Arizona Republic. Thank you very much Thank for reporting. Thanks for stopping by yeah. here. And up